Do you have what it takes to see lasting positive change in your life? All right, we are gonna jump into the motivation matrix. I found this super interesting in an article that I read from Psychology Today. It's written by Jim Taylor, who has a PhD and runs a column called The Power of Prime. And I wanted just to read you this quick outlay of the four types of motivation as it relates to change. So you can imagine a spectrum of like four quadrants and there's two, there's a spectrum of positive versus negative and then internal versus external. And when you have those on a range, you create four quadrants and each of those can be a different type of motivation for change. So we'll start at the top, which is internal positive. Internal positive motivation is characterized by challenge, desire, passion, satisfaction, self-validation, and the likely outcome is that you will achieve a successful change and fulfillment. So this is the part of the matrix that we want to be living from, right? As we're seeking to induce change in our lives. The next part of the quadrant would be external positive. This motivation is characterized by recognition and appreciation from others, financial rewards, and the likely outcome is that some change and partial fulfillment will result. It is dependent upon others for continued change and good feelings. The third quadrant is internal negative. This type of motivation is characterized by a threat, a fear of failure, inadequacy, and insecurity. The likely outcome is some change and the possibility of relapse. So we start to kind of see the effect of the different types of motivation here. The last quadrant is external negative. This is characterized by the fear of loss of job or relationship, insufficient respect from others, financial or social pressures, pressure from significant others, or instability in life. The likely outcome of change from this motivation is some success, but there's a high risk of relapse. So just to recap, we have internal positive, external positive, internal negative, and external negative. So I think it's super helpful to analyze ourselves and look at kind of that first key component of change we talked about, which was desire and really begin to be a little bit introspective about where is this motivation coming from and what is the drive behind my desire for change and really try to see, is it coming from an internal negative place? Is it coming from an external negative place? And what can I do if I still want to make this change? What can I do to move myself from internal negative motivation to external positive and internal positive. We want to have that positive motivation for change. So I would love for you uh, to write in the comments below, are you currently being motivated by a specific type? And if so, if you'd like to label what it is, let me know what change you're wanting to see in your life. What is one thing that you want to begin to make effort to make a difference in? in your life. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it informative, informational, and helpful. And if you like this type of content, again, would love for you to subscribe. I'll be releasing a new video every week related to self-growth, self-improvement, productivity, and beginning to have creative and practical ways for you to begin to achieve your dreams.